Our first guest tonight is that rare podcaster who is as comfortable discussing emotional trauma as he is a manual transmission from uh, the very popular Armchair Expert podcast and its many spinoffs. Please say hello to Dak Shepard. <laughs> I know that you announced you retired from talk shows, and I appreciate you coming out of retirement. This is my only toe in show business. <laughs> is it? <laughs> As is evident, I always try to wear a suit for you. Yeah. You always do it for me. Uh -huh. And I've completely <laughs> run out of suits, and I only have a singular use of suits, and that's coming on the show. And I, we ran out. My last appearance, I was like, well, that's that. We're out you of suits. You know that you're supposed to keep them after you wear them. You don't throw them away. <laughs> well, sure, but can you, you can't recycle them. I can't come in the same suit. Do you wear the same suit twice ever? Oh, yeah, all the time. Did yeah. Johnny Carson? He had his own line of suits. Yeah, he had his own line of My suits. My father owns some Carson suits. Did he really? Big investment. I bet. Wow. My mom was like, what, what? You need these suits in Highland, Michigan for what purpose? <laughs> To sell Fords? Are we sure? <laughs> but yeah, they were the I thing. I love that idea that your dad saw that ad and he's like, I'm going to get me a Johnny Carson suit. How could you resist? It's Carson. <laughs> hey, no. We should even do a thing where we find some of those Carson suits. You know, they, oh, they are floating around. Uh -huh. I don't know that they would fit either one of Is us. Is anyone though. as big as we are today? Nobody's as big as you. No. Well, no, but no. I think everyone was 5'8 in 1979. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. You just hit your head on anything you don't know. If you would and you were over like 5'10", they're like, keep going, go to Arizona. Just, just keep, there's no work for you here. When I see like a vintage t-shirt and I see it's an extra large, I'm like, yeah, that won't fit. <laughs> right. It just won't get on my body. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Although, we're, depending on where you buy an extra large is very interesting. Oh, do you think so? I do. I think an, S, an extra large where I'm from versus an LA extra large <laughs> is a much different thing. There's a width difference. Yeah, you yeah. can still get like a proper pool table cover. Yeah. Yeah. With O'Reilly's written on it. Yeah. And I love my home. I'm not disrespecting, but just it's hard to know if you're buying something secondhand. Like, well, is this a Milwaukee extra large? <laughs> Or a Malibu extra there large. There should be a designation. Yeah, because like it a Milwaukee be extra large, like if your kid wets the bed, you could use that to throw over the... If the kid fell yeah. out the window, you could use it as a, <laughs> probably a, <laughs> a parachute. You got back from India, like what, five weeks ago? Yeah, maybe three, yeah, four weeks ago. How are you, how was that trip? Oh my God, it was incredible. We were guests of Bill Gates, which is mind blowing to me. Who went on the trip? Monica and I, mm -hmm. uh, my co-host co on Armchair Expert. And um, the whole time we kept thinking, why have they brought us here? We're two podcasters. I was just gonna ask that yeah, very question. Yeah, it was never figured out. Um, <laughs> we did interview him at the end of the trip, uh -huh. but it was like the most mind-blowing experience where we just went f from place to place with Bill, the different projects he has, the agricultural projects, the slum rehabilitation, the medical stuff, and we hung with him for seven days and I will tell you, I learned something about him that people don't know. There's lots of conspiracy theories about him, but they're all wrong. There is one they should be embracing. Okay. Oh, good. Which is, we were strictly told, when you go to India, it's a great place. Do not drink anything that you didn't open the cap on, all right? Or you're going to get a bad reaction. Right. Okay. Don't ever eat any raw vegetables, or oh. your two will be in the commode the whole time. Okay. So they're, and they're, they're like, don't play around with this. So we get there and we go uh, first to this chai wala. He makes chai on the side of a, of a little cart and they're boiling water and weird ingredients are popping in. And they hand it to us and they had told us, you know, uh, we'll switch it out with one that was made at the hotel with filtered water. Great. They hand it to Bill right down the hatch. Monica screamed, no! <laughs> like, he's saving the world. We can't lose him to this chai cart. And that was nothing. Then we went to a breakfast at like the Minister of Agriculture's home. Beautiful, so happy to have been a guest. And once again, it's Bill <laughs> Gates. It's uh, two ministers of defense and agriculture, seven tech billionaires. And then Monica's and I's placard says podcasters. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I was like, 
I appointed myself his security at that point. I'm like, the only reason I can be here is to jump on him if something comes yeah, up. But yeah. at any rate. Like, I, I mean, I know, you, like, you don't know why you're there. Did any of the other people he know? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. No. Why. Yeah. Um, and then, so, so we sit down at this breakfast, and um, I look, and I go, oh, no. It's a 16-ounce glass of water. I don't know where it came from. Maybe the tap. Another 16-ounce glass of orange juice. And then a beautiful, beautiful tray of all raw vegetables. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a 90-minute breakfast. What are we to do? <laughs> and as I was thinking this, out of the corner of my eye, I see Bill is halfway there. Look, 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 look. He's like, like bam, pops down the 16 ounces of tap water. Moves immediately onto the orange juice. Oh, hi, look, 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 look. And then housed all these vegetables. <laughs> I had, there was one deep fried pastry and I made a, you know, action out of that. I just kept myself busy with that. And then I was like, my mouth was so dry. <laughs> and I was so afraid of these beverages. <laughs> and I'm looking at Bill and he's never looked healthier. So <laughs> there is a conspiracy that should be. Uh, Maybe the microchips are protecting him, you know? Some, somehow. He's impervious to any pathogen. He could he could eat anything at any time. Yeah, it was mind blowing. Do you think he ever brushes his hair? Mm -hmm. Meaning, would does someone else do it for him? No, no. I mean, like, do you think? <laughs> <laughs> because that is a thought I had. Because every morning, if he, they he do, looks they're fan. not doing a great job. Well, let's be calm. Let's be gentle here. Uh -huh. I actually had the opposite thought. We would meet him at 7 a.m. in the morning to start our day. And I would think, Bill's hair looks really good. Oh, really? And like you, I'd be like, there's no way Bill's wasting his time combing his hair. Is someone combing it? Oh. Another mystery I never uncovered. <laughs> but I will say his hair looked phenomenal. Maybe the on trip. the next trip you'll get <laughs> Yeah, it. I'll get into that. You, as a child, did your parents take you to the dentist? We had a conversation uh, during the commercial break uh, here, and I'm just curious. As I, I overheard some of it, yeah. Oh, you did, OK. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, Laura was great at taking us regularly. Oh. I, um, I have a lot of uh, weaknesses. I have an autoimmune issue. I, uh, my skin turns flaky and red. I have been blessed with very strong teeth. Oh, okay. To the point where Kristen and I had been together for quite a while, and she said, you know, I've noticed since we've been together these 12 years, you haven't been to the dentist, <laughs> which was true. And I said, my, my teeth don't hurt. And when I floss, there's nothing there, guys. It's a total waste of time. It's a waste of floss. They're so tight. And so I, I appeased her, and I went to a dentist in Beverly Hills, very reputable man, and <laughs> I get a, a cleaning. And I'm sitting there, and I said to the hygienist, I said, um, if you had to guess how long it's been since I had my teeth cleaned, <laughs> what would you say? And I promise this is the truth. She said, well... I don't think it's been within six months because you did have a bit of tartar, but I don't know that it's been a year either. And I was like, this is a professional. Yeah, what a victory. She, sure, she didn't think it had been in six months, but she also thought it wasn't a year long. It had been 12 years. So I've gone three times in 29 years in, L in uh, L.A. Uh, oh, three times three in 29 times, yeah. years. Well, good. whatever you're doing, strong. it's really working for you. Although yeah. I did, you know I have a Jimmy Kimmel jinx, which is I used to come in here and brag about how pretty my feet were. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. And I had feet offs with yeah. your coworkers. Yeah. That I won. Yeah. And then I had to have a toe surgery, and they made it miniature. Yeah. And now I have the craziest foot in planet Earth. So I am yeah, a little nervous the next time like I come here, I'm gonna have like <laughs> be like a jack-o'-lantern when he comes back. <laughs> Big out of place flappers. <laughs> right. That shepherd is here, he's got all his teeth. Right now they're beautiful. We'll be right back. We are back with the armchair expert, Dan Shepherd. Uh, he is, by the way, I've been on your show a couple of times on your podcast, and yeah. it's always a lot of fun. My wife, Molly, was on your podcast. One of our best guests of the year, yeah. Her, the, maybe the highlight of her life, and I include our children and in marrying me <laughs> in those moments. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if, what the word to use. Uh, I don't know if obsessed is the right. She, I don't know if infatuated is the right, <laughs> but it's some kind of combination of those words. I'll take all of those. I yeah, like all of with those you. words. And to the point where I find myself saying things like, um, you know, Dax never goes to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
You should call Chris in and just get the laundry list of things <laughs> as armament to, yeah. against that. Maybe I'll have her just send those to Molly. But, but she, she, she was on and she was phenomenal. And um, then she sent me a really, really nice gift recently, which is in the fact check of the episode, um, I told the story about my daughter uh, who's 11. And she had woke up and she was like, she didn't sleep well and she was feeling under the weather, weather and she came into my room and she was just like, I, I, I don't wanna go to school, I just feel so bad. And I said, okay, let's go over to the mirror for a second. And I took her to the mirror and I said, here's what I want you to say, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> and she goes, I'm a bad bitch. And I go, I'm a bad bitch and I'm gonna f this day up. <laughs> And she goes, I'm a bad bitch and I'm gonna f this day up. I go, how do you feel? She goes, I'm ready. <laughs> and like, it worked. It was a big swing. It's, it's a really good swing. And strategy. I'm not condoning swearing for minors, but this is what we did. And then um, Molly really liked it. And so, and then she told Kristen about it, and Kristen really liked it. And then so she, Kristen's shooting a show right now, and she had told the makeup and hair people about this. They're all women. And, so, and they even wrote it like on the, the mirror. There's a little sticker that says oh. this. But her hair person, Marie, is, um, Maria, she's from uh, Colombia. So she has a great accent. And Kristen was having the worst day of her filming career. And she came and sat in the chair and she just wanted to go home. And Maria came up to her and she said, just remember, Kristen, you're a bitch. <laughs> Kristen, you're a bitch, and you're gonna f everything up. <laughs> and, weirdly, that worked, because it was so crazy and funny, it snapped Kristen right out of her mood. And but, Molly got you a needlepoint of those she words. She did, yes, and it's, yeah. it's, I love it. It's such mixed messages. It's cute little babies, and then all this profanity, but it's somehow... Yeah, it's empowering. Speaking of mixed messages, yeah. um, your um, daughters are, uh, how old are they? Um, nine and 11. Nine and 11. Uh, they, will, um, they will drink beer. And when I say beer, I don't mean alcoholic beer. No, of course not. I mean your non-alcoholic beer. Yeah. Beer that you formulated. What did you do with yeah, this? Yeah, I did absolutely everything on uh, this beer. Uh -huh. Let's just get a nice crack on All it. All right, yeah. Um, so before everyone gets freaked out, there's been articles about this. People are really mad. I just want to be clear that orange juice has more alcohol than NA beer. So do hot dog buns. Oh. So if you're mad about kids drinking it, you're really objecting that there's a taste they shouldn't mm -hmm. try. But uh, go ahead. What do you think? Well, you know, I brought this up to your it's fishing good. lodge and people were hoarding it. And yeah, it. right. Yeah, yeah, people were hiding it. You know. mm. It is very good, but, but it's, it's very weird to see your kids drinking it. It makes people uncomfortable, <laughs> yeah. um, but they're good to drive afterwards. Okay? <laughs> And they, they stay faithful to their partners. <laughs> you, had, uh, you were talking about parenting with Bradley Cooper, your old pal who you had on the podcast. And um, this is a headline that came out of that. You know, people grab things. Uh, it says, uh, Bradley Cooper, Dak Shepard, both say they let their daughters watch them poop. I mean, that's, um, the, the, wow, what a headline. I like um, <laughs> My I, favorite word is the word let in yeah, that situation. Thank you. As if, Thank you. That's my entire court case against this headline. <laughs> Whoever wrote this does not have a kid and has never met a kid. <laughs> you don't let them come in or out of the bathroom. <laughs> they go wherever the hell they want, That's when right. they want. They're, half the time they're in a fight they want you to resolve, and mm -hmm. you're on the cans only, well, for me, an hour. Uh huh. Day, hour of my day that's really pleasant. Right. And then they come in for me to uh, litigate some dispute that they have. Yeah, where the girls have a full bladder from all this Ted <laughs> well, Seeger's beer. Sure, they put back a couple Seeger's. <laughs> my God, it's great. And it is that, good. That's a sign of a great Quickly beer. tell me why it's called this. Oh, well, uh, we're, all the three of us that do it, my two best friends uh, from Michigan, uh, we're all from Michigan, and Ted Nugent and Bob Seeger were the, the biggest stars in Michigan growing uh -huh. up. So I said, let's just, let's put them together. And then this is Aaron <laughs> Winkley's father, his real life father. And um, what I like to say to people is it's, we've got 60 plus combined years of alcoholism under our belt, the three of us. <laughs> so if you're gonna trust anyone in this space, by God, it should be That's us. a Ted Seeger, yeah. everybody. Yeah. Jack Shepard, his podcast is called The Armchair Expert and tedseegers.com. We'll be back with Kaylee Spaney. 